Hi everybody, it's Carol here bringing you another project. Today I've made this lovely bird card um, because out of my window I'm, I'm always feeding the birds and the squirrels and so I thought I'd make a card today that just reminds me of them. So I've used sweet sugar plum card and whisper white and I just decorated this with sweet sugar plum and I'll show you what I'm doing. Okay, so you need a base card. Um, I buy these in. This one is, she says, this one is five and a half by five and a half. So I have sweet sugar plum at five and a quarter by five and a quarter. I have whisper white at five by five. And then my other layers are three by four and two and three quarters by three and three quarters so how I got the effect on the white card on the bottom because I wanted I didn't want to use designer paper but I wanted some decoration so what I did was I got a couple of post-it notes and I said right that's what I'd like I've just joined them up there as you can see I've used these and then from the best bird um, stamp set love this stamp set it's really cool you've got weddings birthdays anniversaries thoughts for you congratulations you've got everything in here and you've got also a lovely background stamp and some really cute little flowers which we're going to use so in there because this is a photopolymer um, stamp set I put a magnetic sheet here and keep my dies with it um, because that way then I don't lose anything um, and they're together so it's so simple um, I've already taken the stamps out I need and I've put them on blocks so let's get started what I need is this lovely big stamp here and matching sweet sugar plum ink that's one of the things I love about stamping up the fact that everything matches I haven't got to think too much about what I'm doing obviously projects but there you go right let's get some more down there and then I'm not overly happy that I've missed that bit there so let's have a look there you go, that's a bit better. There you go. I'm happy with that now. And that just makes a really nice background, I think. So, what we need to do is we need, I'm using the silver and the sugar plum glitter ribbon combo pack three eighths of an inch is really good um, and i've used the sweet sugar plum so let's measure it roughly that will depend on what size card you're doing so just measure it like i just did really nice ribbon and then all i did was I put a little strip just to cover. Oops, what am I doing? There you go. And you have it over the edge so that you can go like that. And when you take it off, there you go. Lay your ribbon on. You can lay your ribbon across. Is that stretched? I think it's that's that's straight. Okay, a little bit more there, so just chop that off. Don't need that. There you go. It's starting to look good. Okay, so what we need is we need to put this on the 
Should we eat sugar plum layer? Put that on there. It's got the same border all the way around. Then I can put this on the base card. There you go. That's already looking really nice. And then what I did was I just glued these glued that on there okay and then glued that just there okay right now for all the decoration if you can remember what it looked like I've got a bird a branch some beautiful little flowers that I love and happy birthday so let's sort that out shall we so i used some sweet sugar plum that i'd got that's from the keeping the die where it should be i used happy birthday i think we'll keep with that and i used black memento ink so let's ink that up And then what else did I use the black for while I'm here? So I need to stamp the bird. So this is my lovely bird. It's really big. It's absolutely gorgeous. Put him there. Look at how he stamps. He's just so lovely. And then I didn't use the black for anything else, but I did use the green for the branch. What have I done with the branch? It's not, it's not there, so it's got to be. <laughs> what have I done? Oh, it is behind me. Sometimes I do wonder, bless me. Right ink this up it's a bit too big for the ink pad so well just ink it up put it on lovely really really nice that's that one done and then the last one is the little flower now you do need three but i've already cut two out for you because it might be boring so i don't want you to I don't want you to be bored ink it up there you go. They're so cute, these little flowers. I must remember that I've got those when I need some little flowers again. Right. Magnetic. I think that's my magnetic plate, isn't it? Oh no, it's my precision plate. Right, put that on there. Now, I know my guys are in here because I've just used them. So. Let's lay that so that we get, there you go, and we're just going to put a little bit of masking tape at the top and bottom because it's quite a big one, I don't want it to move. And then get the right die, see there's two, there's one that goes that way and one that goes that way, and obviously you want the one that goes this way, we'll lay that on there, and again. I'll just get a little bit more masking tape. Just put that there. Because even though it's magnetic, you still want it to sit properly. Now, this little flower. You find the one with the... There he is. Stick that on there. Okay. Run it through the big shot. that crackling is normal you're not breaking anything there's the bird there's the flower and there's the branch okay 
Get rid of that for a second. Let's get those. Move the big shot out of the way. Right. Okay. Oh, I forgot the happy birthday. <laughs> oh. Okay. Bring the big shot back in. Find where you put your stitched dies. There they are. There's so many in here to choose from, but I know it's that one. Okay. So put it on like that. And that's worked perfectly. So any little bits of card you've got left, I do have a drawer now full of bits of card. So that when you just need a bit for like a sentiment, I've got it. I don't have to go into a totally new piece of A4 card. So this is my... I need to calm down a little bit and stop rushing because I can't find things. <laughs> Right, the branches, I got my dauber and I got my old olive ink that I'd used and I went round them, I went round it and I coloured it in and I suppose I could have used old olive card but I quite like this effect it's having. You get different tones look which I quite like. There you go. The other thing you need to do is there's my other two little flowers that I've done. What I did with those I put them on my mat Actually, if we put everything on my mat, then I, mean, I won't go losing it. Will I? And I used an old embossing tool I've got, and I just make them rise a bit, which I like. And then my little bird. So I've got my watercolour pencils, and I just did him. I just did his feathers. And his tail a darker brown. I don't know if these. And then I did this bit a lighter brown. Okay. And I did. Choosing a different colour this time. Like a peachy colour. And again I'm not being very precise. And I'm doing his little beak yellow. And I don't know why. I'm sure he's got a yellow beak. Now I did the light brown first and then I went into the darker. There you go. Now get rid of it off. See it's there, get rid of it. Twizzle, make sure it's clear and then you can do the belly a bit because that's a lighter colour. You don't want to infect it with your brown. Okay, make sure you do it at the end. I always do it at the end um, just to keep it clean really. So that's my lovely little bird. So now I need to put everything together. Bring back in my dimensionals. I'm going to use two for the bird, two for the sentiment. I'm going to use two for the bird and then little bits. That's half a one for the branches. There we go. And then a whole one will fit there. Yes, it will. And then I have got more left. This is the last of my page. So might as well use a bit. Right. That's my page finished. Okay, let's do sentiment first. Put it up there. 
let's do the brunch. So I hope you really like this project because I've been playing with all my new things and I just thought today I want to go and play with something I haven't, not play really, it's create isn't it? <laughs> something I haven't used for a while. The little birds are so cute. So let's put him on his branch. And then the little flowers, I've just put some Tombow in the bottom. Just stuck them where I wanted them to go. Where's this one going? Just there, shall we put him? And then lastly, I used some rhinestones. Let's just get rid of that for a minute, make it nice and clean. Now my rhinestones, I'm also need a new pack of. Got one somewhere. So what I used was these little ones because I'd run out of these, but now I'm using a new pack. So you can see I've been cutting up more. Let's get rid of that. A new pack out. Ooh, that's not good, is that? What am I doing? Going crazy. Right, let's just put those back because I don't want to use the big ones. I must admit that doesn't normally happen. It's because I'm on video. And something, some, oh, something somewhere's always got to go wrong for me. That's part of the fun. Fun, fun. Right. Okay, I put one up here on the little dot of the eye and then I put them in the centre and it just brings the flowers to life. Just. There you go guys. So, absolutely love them. Take care. See you soon. Bye. Thank you.